Hey guys, how you going? All right. So step two. First thing you want to do is open up your MTO account. All right. Once you're there, just sign in with your dates. Go up to online transactions. All right. Go to non-title related transactions here on the left. Apply for a Section 40E permit to prospect fee payable and uh, you can do that you can start the process now in five simple steps when you start the process on the right hand side is your form 1a PDF file download that the form 1a will have to be lodged with the application once that's downloaded open it in a PDF viewer uh, editing software Adobe Acrobat okay so that's your form 1a just keep that ready and um, go to the next step so we'll open up Google Earth that's where we'll start but before we do that we want to overlay tenements on Google Earth so we'll go to the Department of Mines data and software center and we'll download the necessary files to get this started from here. Just scroll down. Statewide spatial data sets. And uh, you'll see down the bottom here tenements. Click on that. Uh, expand the tenements current, live and pending. Expand that. Scroll down a little bit if you need to. And you'll see the file here. It's a Google Earth KML file. That's the one you want. Download that. Always update. Um, just regularly download it whenever you're doing your research. Update it. Use live tenements. I'll just drag them down onto Google Earth here. And uh, it'll just take a second because it's quite a lot of information. You'll see it here in my places up on the left here. Just click on it and bring up the tenement information. Come down here to the formatted tenement ID. Copy that. Head back over here and punch that in. And yeah, as you can see, the tenement already has an issued Section 40 permit against it. Somebody's already out there hitting it. You can have more than one permit holder on a specific tenement. So there's no issue there if you want to go ahead. Just expect that you'll probably see people around. Um, yeah, and they might not be too happy to see you there, but you got the permit. It's just click. This this side of it on um, MTO is pretty easy. The, the hardest part is just really getting the information, the address information. You can get it on TenGraph and probably through other means. So you can see here it's already automatically um, listed here, the uh, primary blocks and the smaller uh, particular blocks within it has already been listed so it's already done the hard work for you and um, actually from that uh, you know you can just fill in your form 1a so you probably pinch it directly from this screen probably makes it easier um, you can just see the information here primary block so we'll just copy that and um, we'll just go through the process here and we'll just paste in get the dates from Google Earth here, full name and address of the holder, basically. So, full name and address of the holder is what's required. So, we'll head back over to Google Earth, grab the tenement data here. So, we'll grab the name of the holder here, just copy it, paste it straight in. Really, is that simple? Go down, we'll get the address, so we'll go back over to Google Earth. Open him up. There's the address. Very straightforward. Super easy. Copy it. Paste it. Done. And from there, just put your car. So we've got a um, Lamborghini we're going to take out there. Put in your dates, your rego number, make model. Make sure you include. Uh, your caravan or your trailer 
registration don't forget that do digital signatures just get your signature there and uh, then punch your address in here whatever that may be and uh, don't worry about the rest of that and that's all you got to do so once you do that just save that that's pretty much it obviously you just take some time here filling everything out I'm not going to do it because you know I don't want you to see my details and I'll just have to punch in <laughs> some random stuff here so but the main part here is just going to Google Earth so you're just heading into to Google Earth you know doing all your research there you're getting your details there you know from downloading the data from the data and software center and just overlaying it on Google Earth very simple straightforward got all your information here you can do it on t uh, 10 graph but I personally don't like using 10 graph so that's just me yeah punch all your details out here same same way obviously you don't have a Lambo you? <laughs> um, once you've filled out that main information on the form 1a it's probably the, like I said you just got to get that information I showed you how to get it um, just go through the steps it's really straightforward you'll have to punch in all your own information that's relevant to you Okay, so once you go through the process, you review all your details, you send the permit off, you pay the fee. Once you've gone through and reviewed it and sent the permit off, you'll have to wait 21 days from the date of signing. So just check that date, count on 21 days and you're good to go. When you receive your permit in the mail, you'll receive multiple copies forward those copies onto the relevant pastoralists. Once the permit expires after the three months, you'll have about 14 days to fill out the advice of minerals recovered form. Uh, you receive that with the permit <clears throat> along with all the other details. Um, and you may receive correspondence from the tenement holder uh, in regards to basically staying clear of any uh, exploration activities. They have going on in the area usually just stay like 100 meters away of course you want to stay further than that though because it's they're bloody loud fill out that file within two weeks don't leave it any longer or they'll come knocking on your door trust me they will just mail on the information to the main tenement holder or email it either way um, as long as they get it it's all good be careful out there uh, be respectful uh, don't leave your trash around, take it with you, and um, good luck, hope you get onto it, it's not easy, um, some days you just <laughs> you can just walk around all day, uh, I've done it many, many times, you know, from sunrise to sunset all day, and not even get a signal at all, no target, and if you do get a target, it could just be a bullet, so, um, that's the game when you're uh, working on big exploration tenements. Um, that's prospecting, isn't it? So, and that to me, that's where I get the most enjoyment is just going out and exploring uh, large exploration tenements that don't have any visible workings on them. Um, but I can assure you, uh, the old timers will have been through there. Um, they have been everywhere and usually they they didn't miss hardly much at all and they were on the ground sampling the ground spending all their time doing it so they knew where the goal was and they didn't miss much so just expect that it's going to be quite difficult if you're working in, in new areas away from where gold has been found you're probably not going to have too much success unless you're following unless you're following alt lines contact zones and just honing in on the general geology where gold is formed and there's plenty of information about that online so many people are put videos so much good information on YouTube alone so you don't need to hear it from me you just got to get out there and um, chase it and if you don't look for it, you won't find it.